Come to think of this. Now, you wake up very early in the morning, around 5 a.m., okay, to go to work so that you can pay for a house that you're barely in, okay? And then you also pay for a car that is primarily bought so that it can be able to take you to the same work, okay? So you're buying a car to take you to work, the same, same work so that you can go and pay for a house that you don't even live in and then the government taxes you about 30 to 50 percent of your salary of your wages okay then there's also something else called a vat which is the government also taxing the remaining part of your salary is like they are taxing you on top of other taxes <laughs> and then now after that Think of it, you save all your whole life for a pension, hmm? which the government will take about 40 to 50% of that pension. They'll have to take it. Okay? And then, in your old age, you're now surviving on some, you know, some soup and bread, because that's all you can afford. And surviving on, on, on handouts from your friends and relatives and, and children, because... You have made your children your only way to live. While they are also <laughs> saving the same for the same pension, just like you, so that they can have help from their own children as well. Come to think about all this. Why were you working in the first place? Because even after you get the pension, um, that is after almost, you know, 80 years or 75 years, <laughs> when you can almost barely walk, it will be almost meaningless to you. And if you die, if you die before your pension date, you cannot pass it down to your children. And the government is going to take the whole pension. And that's the end of your story. My friends, we are all scammed so bad with this whole job system. It's all fake. It's a scam. And it's and it's so much funny how people don't see this, that jobs are a scam. You're working for something which you will never get it at the end of the day. Why work all that to go and pay for nothing? You're only paying for a house which you will never leave because you're ever busy running up and down to look for money to pay for that house which you never stay. What's the, what's, what's the need of it? Hmm? Even if... Even when you're working, by half month, you're already struggling to get to the payday. Have you ever realized that? Does that sound familiar to you? That even as you're working, you're still struggling, asking for advances. Oh, please, my boss, give me some advance. Give me some advance. I don't know what to do. You're still struggling to get to the payday. So why are you working? What is the essence? We are giving away our lives, my friends. For nothing, purely, it is a scam. This whole job thing is a scam. Go start your own business. Think outside the box. Go plant some food in your backyard and have something for you and your children. Go and look for a place in the village or somewhere where you can get some, uh, you can lease a land for a year. Uh, you know, if you go to the villages, leasing uh, a land for a year, even one acre for a year, it will cost you about... 2,500 shillings. Go build a temporary structure there and start farming and living your life. By the time a one year is done, 2,500 shillings you can pay again to the, to the owner. And by the time probably is two, three years, you've already given some deposit for that farm because you're making money from your farm. Just think outside the box. Stop thinking in a way that you only reasoning that the only way you can live or you can survive in this world is by having a job job is a scam job is a pure scam you're only being used by someone to meet his goals somebody is using you so that he can benefit in your sweat and blood in what you can think jobs are a scam there's so much that you can do. I know most of you will be asking me, Keith, if you tell me not, uh, not to look for a job, what am I going to do? My friend, there is so much that you can do. I go through TikTok every day. I'm seeing people saying, oh, this is a plug for, like, hey, let me show you some wholesalers who are selling 
bulbs who are selling watches who are selling this and that just go to those people who are wholesalers buy some watches for 100 shillings go round and round in different places and offices and sell them for 300 shillings are you not a businessman and you'll make your 200 shillings profit 200 percent go look for something which is so cheap and start selling it start cheap because if you won't do that somebody's going to hire you to sell the same same watches which you could have been selling and making your own profit and he'll hire you you sell for him and then he'll give you a salary just a bribe which the government is going to take 30 to 50 percent of the same at the end of the day you'll be scammed if you cannot hustle out in the streets go to the villages go look for somewhere near to the mountains and establish yourself and start off there's always something that you can do out there in the villages in the mountains you can farm you can do what you can lease some land you can even even if you don't have money to lease some land you can be you can start as someone who is helping you know the people who are there in their farms and one way two ways and three ways you you lease something and nowadays leasing farms is very cheap an acre is 2500 shillings to lease some 5000 some 3000 it depends where you are in so don't be scammed my friends wake up to the truth